Welcome everyone to the Easy Street Podcast with Rob Scribner, your host. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Street. This is episode 14. I want to welcome you to the show. It's going to be a busy show. I got a lot of things to talk about in just a half hour. So, um, the first thing I want to tell you is you can find uh, our audio show on Good Talk Radio and the video version of this is going to be on the Ranger Rob channel and our uh, Cutting Edge Radio Network channel and YouTube. Uh, so uh, we will be using some visuals today. And uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, so I just want to let you know if you're just hearing the audio of this and you say, oh, I want to see some of the pictures too. Yeah, um, you can find the uh, video version of this. Um, I want to tell you, you can uh, find good, um, <laughs> Easy Street on Good Talk Radio, which is goodtalkradio.com, Spreaker, uh, several other platforms like iHeartRadio, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, today, I want to talk about the coronavirus. <laughs> Tongue tied today. I feel like I'm in a in a hurry. And a little bit of prepping and, and common sense. And I'm also going to spend some time talking about a uh, a platform that I watch that I'd like to finally do a shout out for. And it's called Marfugal News. And uh, I'll tell you more about them in the next section here. Uh, so what I want to first of all talk about is the fact that you need to get prepared. Um, this is not a panic thing or anything because right now, you know, the flu's out there and there's this winter time and all kinds of stuff. And I think it's time to change our habits a little bit. And this is a good reminder to do so. Um, if you go to, uh, let's see, let me pull up the website right now uh, that has uh, what's going on with the Ebola virus, not Ebola, sorry, coronavirus. Uh, right now, there, uh, uh, there's at this particular time, 8,235 um, uh, people infected that they're, they're reporting. And there's been 171 deaths. And then so far, they've said there's 143 recovered. Uh, we're not sure if these numbers are correct. Um, you know, a lot of this is political. Uh, no country wants to really reveal that they got a real big problem going on and it could affect this, uh, the economy something fierce, especially out of China. Uh, tons of products get um, manufactured from there. It could really affect our stock market, all kinds of things. So you can see why they'd be hesitant to give out numbers. Um, information is, is sneaking out of China. And the next website I'm going to refer to you um, will kind of uh, tell you why I like this, this guy so much. Um, and I've actually you know, watched him a lot, so, but I'll get into his stuff soon. <laughs> so anyway, uh, get in the habit of washing your hands more. Get in the habit of having hand sanitizer around the house. Get in the habit of, uh, you know, when you're around crowds, be aware of uh, people coughing, things like that. Uh, and this is not just for the coronavirus, but also for just the flu and, and, and colds and stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, if you're going like a casino and you're touching things a lot and stuff, um, make sure you, you know, take a little, um, you can get these little uh, hand uh, sanitizer that are small and compact that you can kind of keep with you and, and just, uh, you know, uh, be a little more precautious and, and, and remember in, uh, if you decide to get some face masks, um, they're hard to get right now. And also you need to cover your eyes and uh, if it really became more serious and, uh, and, and I guess this video is to say, guys, it's, it's come up a step. Let's be a little bit more aware, a little more cautious and try to tell our media that report to us what we want to hear. <laughs> I don't, you know, this impeachment stuff. Hey, great. Whatever is going on. My attitude on that is if you don't like who's there now, we, in nine months from now, change it. Okay. Or if you like the, who's there right now, keep them there and tell our uh, politicians to start governing, start doing their jobs. Uh, instead of spending all their energy on something that's really, uh, most of us are getting to a point now going enough, 
enough already. If you're from my state, work in my state. I got, we have issues in our own states and um, <laughs> get to work, start governing. That's what we put you there for. And if you don't, we're gonna get rid of you. Just send that message, would you guys? Seriously, when she wakes up, I've got a surprise for her. She better have some Ranger Rob poopy bags. Have a better experience with dog waste bags. Available at Amazon. Marfogo News is a, uh, a, a independent reporting group uh, up in Seattle. And I uh, need to get his uh, domain to show here a little better. Uh, let me scoot this over so you can catch his domain name. There we go. Anyway, he uh, super neat guy. I watched him from the beginning. I've been a kind of a secret admirer, <laughs> you might say. He's a young uh, lad, and uh, he uh, works out of. Uh, I've seen him when he was first starting. He was using his cell phone, and uh, you know was definitely concerned. And um, eventually, he invested some money into a studio, uh, started coordinating phones, things, and actually created quite the um, family of uh, people that uh, help each other dig up news that the media is just not telling us. Our media is ridiculous. And uh, when it comes to this uh, uh, coronavirus that's going on, um, I, uh, I think they've done a really good job at finding news that's slipping out of China. And, and I do admire his show and he's very professional and some people will watch the show and think, oh, he's kind of a, uh, a scare kind of, uh, platform and he's not, he's very open-minded. Uh, he actually even has, um, um, you can tell he has a little faith, uh, too. So he, he, he understands his faith. He understands real news. He understands reality. Uh, and, and he's, uh, uh, does a very good presentation and he's done it so much now that it just comes natural to him. And he's got a good team, uh, supporting him, uh, in the background, handling the calls and things like that. And so um, I do highly recommend, and I'll put all the links in our description to his website and his YouTube channels. Um, I highly recommend you subscribe to him. Um, it's very informative information. It's very professional. Uh, he's done a really good job with his studio. Um, and uh, uh, I kind of, I'm from Seattle, so... I, I definitely understood when he first got fired up, I was very uh, interested in watching his show because uh, he was uh, talking about an area, I, uh, the area I grew up in. And so uh, it's been very enjoyable to watch him uh, become the channel he's got. Now his channel's humongous now, uh, but uh, us guys in the background that were supporting him but really didn't uh, say much, we were all sharing his stuff, uh, still do. And um, I thought today would be a great day to use him on our show to tell you about him. I'm not playing a lot of his stuff. I will show his website um, just out of fairness. And because, uh, uh, I mean, he works hard in this stuff. I highly recommend you go to his site. So let me pull up uh, his page so you can at least see it. Uh, his website is very professional. They put out their videos and what's really cool is anything he talks about and all the articles he pulls up, if you go to that icon of that day, all the articles that he, they talked about, you can read for yourself. So this, this isn't just hearsay and, and making up stuff. They'll actually pull up articles and have discussions about it. And then you can go to the website and verify anything that they're talking about or reading about. So um, he's got a wonderful website. Um, for example, any of the icons or any of the uh, videos they make, they're right there. And any reference material to those shows you can find on the website. And he also has quite the, what they call the Morfogo family, uh, a discord where uh, people from different states can actually 
uh, be, uh, join their group, join a group basically, um, and discuss the things that concern them in their own states, which is different. I'm in Arizona. He's in Seattle. Uh, they have concerns going on in Seattle. They have uh, uh, coronavirus people showing up there, and uh, we actually have them here in Arizona too. And so, but they were one of the first ones. So it was really neat. To, um, uh, he, he's done such a good job. Uh, I really want to recommend him. So it's called Marfugal News. Dot com and he's also they've got two channels one's kind of news oriented I think he has one that's called dot TV I'll put all the links in the description below and I highly recommend you go over and subscribe to his channel and bookmark his website and uh, give you another source of news that you're not hearing about these are people that take the time to try to go through news that comes from other countries and and try to determine what's coming out of there people are trying to get news to us and some countries they can't do it uh, or there's back doors and they are getting the information out to us slowly uh, when it comes to this coronavirus uh, i think it's critical that um, all the countries are up front with us to find out what's going on before we have a major outbreak this is pretty serious stuff this one has got my attention and it's got a lot of people's attention. It should have your attention. And really, it isn't a panic as it is some common sense things you can do right now to prepare for just staying healthy. We may have to stay in our houses for uh, two, three, four weeks and uh, you don't want to be out and about. And so you want to build up your, uh, your uh, extra food in the house, a little extra water. Make sure it's food that you just add water to. Buy several cases of water, store them in your back room. Uh, have something like a Coleman stove or something that you can use outside to heat up water and things like that. Um, to, uh, uh, let's say, hang tight for a while. So yeah, Marfugal News, I highly recommend them. I think you'll enjoy the channel. And uh, yeah, uh, do it guys, really. Go check out his channel, please subscribe to them be that person be that responsible dog owner be the one they point at saying hey he picks up after his dog and he uses ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon with free shipping all right guys we are back and uh, i wanted to talk about um i was telling you earlier that we do an audio version of this show in video so audio, once again, I told you it's like Good Talk Radio, and we have the logo on the top of the, of the screen and also the website. Um, the other thing is I want to tell you is we have two sources where you can see the Easy Street shows, um, the video version. One is on our Ranger Rob um, uh, YouTube channel. And, hey, uh, you welcome sure to the... Get the sound off here. Uh, this channel, we uh, provide a lot of fun stuff. Uh, not just our radio shows and stuff, but uh, uh, we also feature some uh, uh, other podcasts we do. But uh, And the other thing is that we do some cooking too. But um, the uh, a new show that we're coming out with is called uh, What's on My Porch. And what we're doing is <clears throat> with that is I order so much stuff from Amazon and different places. And basically it has to do with a lot of the subjects we're doing with this show. Uh, I thought I'd start featuring at least a weekly show called What's on My Porch. Uh, and you can see we have two shows out already. And we actually, uh, the last show we just did yesterday, actually, was about a, a uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, face mask for that uh, um, I feel is a really good one. And so if things got really serious, I wanted to have a couple around the house. So the last review I just did was about the... Uh, a, a really good face mask and then the day before that a uh, week before that we actually featured a cookbook from the walking dead <laughs> it was kind of fun so that's the ranger rob youtube channel uh, but for strictly radio we also have a different channel called um cutting edge radio Hi guys Network. this is rob from cutting edge right um and in here is where we'll feature all of our radio shows that we do on podcasts so uh, yeah, so we have a lot of fun with this channel. This is a great channel. Uh, it features just our radio stuff that supports um, uh, all of our podcasts, all of our radio stations, 
Um, and yeah, so uh, all the links to these sites will be in the description below. So I just wanted to kind of verify uh, what we uh, uh, what I'm talking about when I say that we have a video version of this. So I hope that was helpful to you and let's uh, move on. Would you like better radio with great talk shows and great music and less garbage? Good Talk Radio is your choice. We have great programming, great music, and a great attitude. We love our country. We love our listeners. Good Talk Radio. Okay, guys, we are back. This is kind of my ranting section here, but uh, I don't. I'm asking you guys, and I'd like to hear your comments in in the uh, below in the description of the video, or or also our uh, audio version of uh, what do you think of our media nowadays? Are you fed up at all? Um, do you believe everything you're hearing? Do you find local news better for getting what's going on? Or um, the national news uh, on prime time? Are you okay with that? And Or do you watch a lot of cable news, whether it's CNN or Fox or whatever else is out there? Um, <laughs> To me, I'm just getting fed up that we can't get, uh, you can tell that the news is oriented around the big mighty dollar. And, and so they report things that they think will catch our, our attention and, and get us upset. And, and it's like in the old days, it's, they didn't really do that. They just told the news and I don't want to hear their opinion. I don't want to hear if it's a conservative opinion or a um, liberal opinion. I just want to hear the news and the facts. Are you in agreement with me or not? Do you like them having an opinion or do you like them leaning one way or another or suggesting? Um, when I hear words like it's in our opinion or um, it's, it's it, it looks like or things like that, I don't want to hear that in the news. I just want to like, if something happened in uh, Iran, then just tell us what happened in Iran. Don't try to model it for us and let us decide we're adults and people, you need to be accountable. You need to be accountable for our actions. We got to be accountable for what we watch. And if we don't like what we see, instead of bitching and complaining or trying to get something taken off the air, turn the station. Be an adult. You're accountable for yourself. So if you have feelings and your feelings are getting hurt, things like that, turn the station. <laughs> how hard is that? <laughs> That's how it used to be. If something you didn't like, you didn't watch it. And if uh, uh, you're watching shows that are kind of offensive to you or, or, or causing you issue, turn the station that tells the networks what you're interested in they're just looking at electronic count how many people are watching um late night uh comedy shows or are they getting too political and they're no fun to watch anymore i used to love to watch johnny carson and jay leno and stuff but nowadays when you get to all the new shows at late night tv they are all bashing trump or or doing something like some crazy thing and and moderate jokes i mean we all joked about our presidents and stuff like that and there's a way to do it it's funny but it's not funny anymore it's they're all they're trying to do is get ratings and uh so i really miss some of the, when it comes to late night shows some of the really good guys that really knew how to have fun get a laugh Talk about politics, put little jabs out there, but still be tactful. Is it, I mean, how hard is that? So I'd love to hear in your opinion, what are you doing about it? Are you just leaving the station on and coping with it? Are you complaining at all? Are you turning the station? What are you doing? Or is it all just fine and dandy? You don't care. I live for the now. I'm not even going to pay attention to this stuff. I mean, to each his own, I guess, right? But uh, I don't know, I, I, I like to, you know, I'm up in age compared to a lot of the young folks. 
A lot of young folks live for the now. A lot of young folks don't really pay attention to this stuff. Um, I find it uh, odd. <laughs> I find it irritating and I find it concerning that a lot of them don't even know American history. Uh, a lot of important things like the Holocaust and things like that. Some of them don't even know what that was. They don't even know the true meaning of what Nazism was or what socialism or communism was all about. And it scares me that they don't understand history because history replays itself. And uh, yeah, I just love to hear you guys' opinion on it. I'm not looking for hate stuff. I'm looking for like common debate common uh, uh, ways that you're doing to cope with n trying to stay informed still being concerned but uh, or do you just say I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear the news I don't want to I don't care what's happening in other countries I don't care about this coronavirus I don't care about any of it I'm just worried about today and how my day's going and how things are going um, so, but are you going to be shocked if something came along out of the blue and suddenly we got quarantines and maybe buses have stopped or maybe, you know, something like that comes along? Well, what if we're attacked? Well, what if we have a major earthquake in California or something or, Cal or up in Seattle? Would you just be shocked? Like, how could this possibly happen to us Americans? Like, we're perfect. Nothing happens here. We can fix everything. <laughs> Is that is that something going through your head <laughs> or are you being prepared are you being concerned and I'm not saying radical I'm just talking about common sense you know uh, we have families and we are responsible for our families and wouldn't you feel really dumb if something happened and you didn't take anything serious you didn't prepare a little didn't throw some extra water aside or maybe you have uh, you're so busy worrying about weapons and stuff like that. Will there be a time where you go, gosh, I wish I had a weapon. <laughs> Does that ever go through your head? <laughs> I mean, some of you people out there is like, uh, just let her go. And maybe, maybe that is the way to go. Um, and, 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 and I, I, I feel sad for a lot of folks that may not have any faith at all. What an empty life that must be. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just, hey, I live for the now. I live for me. I live for human um, feelings. I just want to be happy. I want to live for me. And when I die, it's done. It's blank sheet, black, black screen. It's all over. That's got to be hard <laughs> or sad. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm open-minded. I'm open to your your suggestions, and uh, I ask you to be open to mine too. But you know, um, one thing I've found when it comes to faith um, is you know, there's so much going on in Israel and all that stuff. A lot of times, they didn't understand all those issues with the Palestinians and stuff like that. Uh, Palestinians. Uh, we started reading the Old Testament, so we kind of understood the history of mankind in one one sort, and and also the history of the. Uh, Israelis and uh, the Bible will teach you a lot of that stuff at the same time you might learn a little bit about God it wouldn't hurt so I do recommend trying to read the Bible if anything if you don't want to read the Bible for your faith read the Bible for its history and maybe faith will come along who knows anyway that's my little editorial my little rant <laughs> let's move on thanks for listening this is the turd news network Good afternoon, I'm Archie and welcome to the Turd News Network. Just last week, it was reported from WikiLeaks that the CIA has been spying on Americans through cell phones and televisions. We, of course, at the Turd News Network, decided to go out to the field to Grandpa, out to Houston, Texas, where Grandpa is at the CIA office to get more information about WikiLeaks. Yes, this is Grandpa in Texas talking to you about WikiLeaks, which is kind of embarrassing. You know, when you get older, the muscles in your bladder don't work so well. And it kind of results in, well, <laughs> 
WikiLeaks. Dear oh, God. It's very it embarrassing. Works. You laugh uh, too hard. You WikiLeaks. You cry too hard. You WikiLeaks. If you cough, you WikiLeaks. I, I could go on and on and on. I can't not believe you asked me this question. Uh, really? We'll get back to you on that report later. Ah, I bet you're waiting. What the heck was that? <laughs> Well, some of you guys have known us for a long time. We also have another channel called The Turds, which is spelled T-E-R-D, which is a puppet family. And uh, they do a lot of music videos, and we've also done some news and stuff like that. And it's been fun to do. And uh, we haven't produced as many shows lately because our studio's small up uh, and reduced in size a little bit. But uh, anyway, they're kind of fun, kind of changes the uh, atmosphere a little bit. But uh, we do have a complete uh, website called theturds.com, uh, which is T-E-R-D. Uh, we just thought the name was kind of funny. And uh, we also have a YouTube channel devoted to the Turds News, uh, News Network and also their videos. So uh, if you want something for a little fun, a little different, uh, yeah, the Turds, uh, that's <laughs> something we created years ago. And we still continue once in a while to produce something new for that. So uh, we did some new stuff. It was kind of fun and we enjoyed that. So, hey, I want to take the time to thank you very much for listening to Easy Street. Uh, please feel free to send us uh, uh, notes of things you'd like us to talk about, some things you want us to research. We'd be happy to do so. Don't forget you can find us on Good Talk Radio. Don't forget to go down in the description below and find out where you can find all the different places to find Easy Street and some of our other shows. And uh, uh, if you'd like to be on Easy Street, let us know. We'll find a way to interview you um, and have a little fun and uh, bring up serious and funny things. So... I'm Rob Scribner, or better known as Ranger Rob, uh, the creator of Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, which we appreciate you folks for those who have been buying our bags. They are good. They're bigger, deeper, have handles, uh, smell like lemon, they're strong, they're leak proof, and they're very affordable, and you can find them on Amazon. So with that in mind, uh, I wanted to say thanks for watching, be safe, be careful, and use a little common sense out there. And uh, Keep in touch with us. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.